Courtesy of Sean Larma and Jack's RC Recycle and Repair, I have four Gen's Ace batteries, brand new, to put on the ESR test. I'm going to test these at room temperature, cold, and hot. Take a look. The batteries I have for this test is a 2200 milliamp 50C battery, little uh, 2S. 5000 milliamp 2S 50C battery. 7600 milliamp 2S 50C battery. 5000 milliamp 3S 50C battery. So let's get to testing. Up first is the little 2200 milliamp 2S at room temperature. Seventy one point six degrees, seven point six eight volts, thirty one point five milliohms for the entire battery. Now let's check the cells. Three point eight five volts, seven point eight milliohms. 17C, 39.2 amps. We're going to go ahead and check the other cell. 3.85 volts. 7.84, 17C, 39.2 amps. Here we have the 5000 milliamp 2S. 7.84, 17C, 39.2 amps. degrees. 7.52 volts, 28.5 milliohms for the whole pack. Let's check these cells. 3.78 volts, 6.48 milliohms, 13C, 68.2 amps. Check the other cell. 3.78 volts, 14C, 70.4 amps with uh, 6.04 milliohms. 7600 milliamp 2S, 72.5 degrees, 7.64 volts, 22.5 milliohms for the whole pack. Let's check this out. 3.84 volts, 3.12 milliohms, 15C, 121.5 amps. 3.84 volts, 3.16 milliohms, 15C, 121.5 amps. 5,000 milliamp, 3S. 72 degrees, 11.48 volts for the pack, 27.3 milliohms over the whole pack. Let's check a cell. 3.84 volts, 3.76 milliohms, 18C, 90.2 amps. 3.64 milliohms, 18C, 92.4 amps. 3.8 milliohms, 18C, 90.2 amps. 2200 KV2S. 53.7 milliohms for the whole pack. 
19.64 milliohms, 11C, 25.2 amps. eighteen point seven six milliohms eleven C twenty five point two amps five thousand milliamp two S eighteen point four total pack resistance forty six point five milliohms Eight C, sixteen point five six milliohms, forty one point eight amps. Fourteen point six eight milliohms, eight C, forty four amps. Seventy six hundred milliamp to us. 49 degrees. 31.8 milliohms for the whole pack. 8.16 milliohms, 9C, 75.6 amps. 8 milliohms, 9C, 75.6 amps, 5,000 milliamp, 3S, 43.8 milliohms for the whole pack. 9.64 milliohms, 11C, 55 amps. 9.6 milliohms, 11C, 57.2 amps. 9.12 milliohms, 11C, 57.2 amps. 2200 milliamp to us, 111 degrees, let's check a look, 21.6 milliohms for the whole pack, let's check a cell, 2.68 milliohms, 31C, 68.6 .6 amps. 2.80 milliohms, 30C, 67.2 amps. 5,000 milliamp to us. 104 degrees. Let's take a look. 20.1 milliohms for the whole pack. 1.72 milliohms, 26C, 134.2 amps. 1.80 milliohms, 26C, 132.0 amps. 7,600 milliamps, 102 degrees. 19.2 milliohms for the whole pack. 1.16 milliohms, 26C, 202.5 amps. 
1.28 milliohms, 25C, 191.7 amps. 5,000 milliamp. 109 degrees. 11.48 volts. 21.3 milliohms for the whole pack. One point three six milliohms, thirty C, one hundred and fifty one point eight amps. One point three six milliohms, thirty C, one hundred fifty one point eight amps. One point five six milliohms, twenty eight C, one hundred and forty. .8 amps and actually you know just simply die on you so basically the warmer the battery the better however we all know too much heat is never a good thing as well so it's just kind of something you got to watch out for but the results speak for themselves cold battery less amps uh, typical room temperature battery decent amps hot battery you get a lot more amps but guys, with any LiPo battery, just be careful and make sure you choose the right one for the application. You know, the uh, scalers, they don't need a whole lot of battery, but an X-Max or a UDR, that needs a lot more. You would not put a 2200 milliamp 3S like I would use in this truck in an X-Max. It just simply would not work out very well. It would probably go up in flames. Maybe. I'm not going to test that to find out. However, just guys, be careful with your LiPos. Make sure you pick the right ones for your vehicles. And again, thank you to Sean Larman for allowing me to do this test with four brand new batteries from Jen's Ace. Catch you guys later.